Hey guys, welcome back to EOS Marketplace News. I'm Riz and I'm here to bring you up to date with the latest EOS blockchain news. Now guys, if this is your first time in our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to get the latest out of EOS Marketplace News. <clears throat> so guys, today I would like to talk to you about the news or the interesting articles that we have included in our daily newsletter issue for today um, that we uh, used as our headlines. So I'm talking about our website, which is preferredcurrency.news, where you can subscribe to our daily newsletter. All you got to do is to go to www.preferredcurrency.news and look for the PayPal icon which you can use to pay for a monthly recurring of $15 fiat or you can even use the Coinbase option uh, for an annual subscription of $180 every year to be paid with your favorite crypto coins. And just to give you a little sneak peek as to how our newsletter looks like, um, this is our newsletter that we have sent to all our subscribers all around the world 12 hours prior to this um, to the broadcast of this video so that means if you are a subscriber to preferred currency dot news um, newsletter issue you'll be able to get the latest information the latest news and the latest updates uh, on your favorite blockchains and tokens 12 hours before the rest of the world does so not only that we also include lots of useful stuffs right here like um, a website where you can get alerts about your EOS transactions, places where you can, um, places where you can have your items up for sale in exchange for EOS, completely free. Okay, no listing fees. This is a free uh, platform which is very accessible, very easy to use. So check it out. Also. Um, websites to where you can get an EOS account for only for as low as 99 cents and a lot of great stuff right here so I strongly suggest that you guys go to preferredcurrency.news right now and be a subscriber to our daily newsletter issue so I'm um, going back um, to the main purpose of this video like I said I I will be talking with you about the news or the articles that we have included in our newsletter as our headlines. So I'm talking about the Russian startup to create blockchain basing copyright network in uh, Uzbek capital. Also in other news, Qtum become uh, Qtum blockchain becomes Amazon Web Services partner in China. And also, VeChain experiences a, a flurry of developments amidst the DNVGL partnership and player sale on the Thor block platform. All right. All right. So let's first talk about the Russian startup to create blockchain based a copyright network in Uzbek capital. Do you think that will be a really great plan to, um, you know, make investors and businesses know more about protecting their intellectual property let's find out more about this um, about that question in this news right here so this news is brought to us by PCN.today which is also another website from preferredcurrency.news all right, so a Russian intellectual property startup has signed a memorandum with officials from Uzbek capital Tashkent to integrate blockchain for use in copyright, Russian state news agency TASS reports uh, Tuesday, October 16th. The president of the Russian National Intellectual Property Transactions Coordination Center, or IP chain, Andrei uh, Krichevsky, uh, uh, met the head of Tashkent's department. Department of Innovations Joshua Zakidov during the Open Innovations Forum on Moscow. Uh, both parties agreed to implement decentralized solutions to protect copyrights in different areas such as intellectual property and patent records. Zakidov further explained that blockchain could help develop the whole copyright sphere and make it profitable, noting that scientists, inventors, and creators do not actually understand how to to monetize their intellectual property.
and adding, in a quote, our partnership will likely give an impetus to the development of intellectual property area in Uzbekistan. From now on, they are going to know that the copyright actually works and is profitable. As a capital, we have to help authors to show them ways to earn money, unquote. As per IP Chain's press release, the program will start with digitizing Tashkent's uh, patent records, likely deploying the IP Chain ecosystem on the basis of the local patent office. As Cointelegraph reported in April, IP Chain signed a deal to digitize patent records and create blockchain-based database for the state patent office of Kyrgyzstan. According to the head of the IP Chain, similar projects have already been discussed with the Armenian uh, um, officials as well. Uzbek President Shavkat Mirziyoyev um, has recently taken several important steps to promote blockchain technology in the country. Alright, another news. Qtum Blockchain becomes Amazon Web Services partner in China. Now, Amazon Web Services, or AWS, or simply read as AUS, China Division is partnering with the public blockchain project Qtim. The partnership sees the on-demand cloud computing giant working with a cryptocurrency project with a $325 million uh, in market capitalization, making it the 29th largest cryptocurrency to develop blockchain as a service or BAS uh, solutions for enterprises and developers. Revealed exclusively to Coindesk, the partnership will allow AOS users to develop and launch smart contracts quickly, efficiently, and cost-effectively using the Amazon Machine Image, or AMI, according to a press release issued by the QTIM team. Simon Wang, who is the head, uh, head of Territory Business Development at AOS China, confirmed the partnership, telling Coindesk, uh, Coindesk in an email, QTIM are now an AOS technology partner and one of the partner network members, unquote. Based in Singapore, QTIM, which raised $1 million last January from investors including Anthony Delirio, OKCoin OK CEO Star Shu, Bitfund founder Xiao Lai Li, and Fenbushi partner Boshan launched its public uh, launched its public blockchain a year ago. Qtum's AMI was listed on the Amazon Web Services marketplace in July and since then, the group behind the cryptocurrency has been moving toward a broader technological partnership and Qtum's marketing director, uh, John Sienna, uh, told Coindesk. Now, the two companies have been discussing this since April, he added, and members now of the Amazon Partner Network, according to the company's website, receive business, technical, sales, and marketing resources to help expand their business and support their customers. Now, what do you think? Um, did Amazon Web Services uh, chose the right partner in a Qtum blockchain? Let us know in the comment section below. And now let's go to the last article for today. Uh, VeChain experiences a flurry of developments amidst the NVGL partnership and player sale on Thor block platform. Let us know more about that. Now, the signing at the Norway-China Business Summit 2018 was attended by several high-profile personalities. Partnership aimed to, uh, aimed to achieve environmental stain sustainability goals set by the UN. Player and Safe Haven have, are having an allegiance as of now. Now, the blockchain technology-based supply uh, chain management firm VeChain or VET has witnessed considerable developments within the past few days. Now, the Singapore-based nonprofit entity look or took to Medium in October 16th this year to shed light on the high-profile signing ceremony of the DNVGL VeChain uh, v -Chain Digital Low Carbon Ecosystem in Beijing. Now, the signing of the DNVGL VeChain Digital Low Carbon Ecosystem at the Norway China Business Summit 2018 was attended by Their Majesties King Harald V and Queen Sonia, uh, Queen Sonia of Norway. 
The signing of the document has officially commenced a partnership between the Norwegian assurance giant, who is um, DNVGL, and important partners of the 13th Chinese Five-Year Plan, including BYD, PICC, VChain, Tsinghua, uh, Tsinghua University, Sino, U.S. Relations Research, uh, Research Center, and Shanghai Shindao Food, which is a subsidiary of Bright Foods. The newly formed partnership will propel the DNVGL's efforts to work with the UN to achieve the laid down environmentally focused sustainable, uh, sustainable development goals. As the event uh, was attended by several influential people or personnel, it is also important to point out that the gist of the newly christened eco uh, ecosystem. The partnership aims to leverage the VeChain Thor blockchain and IOT devices to keep a track of every single carbon emission reduction uh, behavior of enterprises and individuals alike. This will be achieved with the help, uh, with the help of smart contracts which will compute the carbon reduction equivalent and subsequently issue carbon credits. The Medium Post reads in a part, quote, The solution distributes carbon credits to enterprises and individuals involved in emission reductions. Carbon credits are transferred through individual users in the ecology of inter-enterprise consumption activities to achieve the ecological diversion between different enterprises. The credits can then promote and enhance the sales of enterprise products or services, unquote. It's worth pointing out that the underlying technology powering this ecosystem has already been deployed and is being tested by the ecosystem partners with BYD's electric vehicle scheduled to go on sales in 2019. All right, guys, so do you think, um, what do you think are the other factors that contributed to the development that VeChain is experiencing? Let us know in the comment section below. And guys, those are the news or the articles that we have included in our newsletter issue for today. So if you want to get the same information, um, the latest updates, the latest news, the latest everything about your favorite tokens and of course EOS, go ahead and check us out at preferredcurrency.news and be a subscriber today. This has been Riz and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!